Hey guys, it's Agosti Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with Mars in our foundation. In this video, I'm going to show you what is required to change in the Unity Editor in order for us to build to the iOS device. I'm going to show you what settings we need to change, what packages we need to bring. I'm also going to be bringing you and showing you a diagram that compares Air Foundation components versus the Mars components and what layers they actually reside on. I'm also going to show you what is basically playing behind the scenes, which is a demo that I created by using the Simple Game template and show you how we can actually run that in our own spaces. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to look at what is required to use Mars to basically deploy either to iOS or Android. I'm going to be focusing on iOS today because that's what I have as far as like devices. So I'm going to start by showing you first a diagram that Unity provided. It's going to help you visualize what we're going to be doing. So if I open the AR Foundation diagram, this basically is going to explain to us what are some of the different layers, you know, where or app is versus AR Foundation and how it basically hook up to all the different components. So in our case, we're going to be building the scene right, ne right now that I have. It's called Game Simple. So think of the Game Simple being right here and how does that communicate with Mars. So in this case, this is the AR Foundation you know, diagram. There's really not Mars included, but I want to show you if you had a standalone AR Foundation application that didn't have Mars, this is what happened in behind the scenes. So you have AR Foundation right here. You know, it's communicating, it's communicating with your app. You also have the, the different packages that are available. So if you're using AR Kit, if you're using AR Core, Magic Leap, and Windows MR, they all sit in the different packages that we have available. You know, if we want to build to some of those different platforms. So the other way that this also works is if ARKit is the one that we're using, then we communicate with ARKit SDK and ARKit SDK, you know, it's basically talking to the iOS device. So this is a lower lower level and then it goes ARKit. So if we wanted to build, you know, an application that was purely using ARKit, you would only use these two components in here. But because we're using Unity, we want to abstract what ARKit has and then so that's why we use the actual package for Unity, and then Unity, you know, in essence, gives us a package where we can use to, you know, we can use AR Foundation to talk to those packages. So this is a layer of, a, of abstraction where, you know, we have AR Foundation talking to all these different packages, and then we don't really have to worry about the the underlying technology. All we really need to know is what's available, what kind of components we can use, such as image tracking, plane detection, body tracking, etc. So just know that those are some of the details that you're going to know. So how is actually Mars included in here? So I'm going to show you another diagram. So in the, in the Mars world, it's going to be a little bit different. We, we still have our packages. We have our iOS device, our Android devices, Magic Leap, and HoloLens. We also, you know, same way, ARKit SDK is the one that it's going to be, you know, iOS is going to be talking to that package. And then we have our package for Unity AR Kit, AR Core, and Magic Leap. So then we have AR Foundation, which is, like I said, abstracting some of the underlying details. And the what, what, what is interesting is that Mars actually sits right on top of AR Foundation. So in the case of AR Foundation, and if you remember, we when I did the AR Foundation videos, if you watch some of those, we were using the AR Session, we were using the AR Session Origin. So some of those components are not really using Mars directly. I think Mars is basically, you know, using providers and using those providers to communicate with their foundation and they're doing all the mapping for us. We don't have to worry about that. So Mars is sitting right here and then Mars is the one that is talking to our foundation. So we don't have to worry too much about how that works. All we need to know is that that is happening behind the scenes and we get, you know, that's why we get the Mars package. And then we have our app that's it right here. So what I want to do today is how do we actually build an application that it's using Mars? And how do we build it to iOS, right? And you can do the same thing with AR Core. You can just follow the same steps that I'm gonna do. Instead of using AR Kit package, just you know, change it to be AR Core and everything should just work just fine. So I'm going to go into my Unity project and the, the project that I'm gonna be building, it's going to be the Game Simple. And I show you on the pre previous video how we can bring in that template. But if you didn't watch it, just make sure you watch it and then you guys can get caught up and, and look at what I have. So this is a very simple game. You have a robot and then the robot, it's kind of like a character controller where you can move it around. 
you can use your mouse to tell it to go to different, you know, different crystals. And then you're picking up those crystals. Once you pick them up, the character gets excited. And then, you know, you can keep playing. It's so another cool thing. Call it, uh, another cool feature is if you had gaps, you know, let's say that you had a plane right here and plane gets detected in this area, plane gets detected in this area, you can actually jump. So the character knows how to rate cast to different planes so that he can jump and avoid, you know, basically falling. So I'm going to show you how we can, you know, we can build this. So the first thing that we need to do, and this is something that we've done in, in the past, is we need to add the packages that we're going to need in order for this to work on ARKit. So we're going to go into a window and let's go into our package manager. And this might already be done because I might already done it in a previous video, but if we haven't, this is where you'll go and actually do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for XR. And if you do XR, you're going to see that we have AR foundation, AR subsystems, the, you know, in your case, if you want to do the AR core package, then you can install it from here just by clicking on install. So in our case, I'm going to use, because I only have iOS devices, I'm just going to do the AR kit XR plugin. It looks like I haven't installed it, so I'm going to keep it to the verified version because I'm using 2019.3. So let's go ahead and click on install. And that's going to you know, install all the different components. So this is the COM Unity XR AR kit, which is the one that I, I show you on the diagram. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the player settings. We need to switch because right now I'm using PC, Mac, and Linux as standalone because when I, when I was working on this project, I was basically working on that on my, on my PC. So that is that part. I think that's already done. It says that it, 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 it installed. I can't even talk to it. And I also got an error here. I think I'm just going to clear it. It's nothing to worry about. So, okay, so we have that package. Let's go into build settings. And right now we don't have a, a scene that we're, you know, we have designated as the scene that is going to build. So I'm going to click on add open scenes. You're going to see that game simple, which is the same name that we have right here on our top toolbar in the editor. And right now you can see that this is using a platform that it's not the one that we want to use. So we're going to be using iOS. Uh, again, if you want to use Android, just use Android and then switch platform. I'm going to use iOS. And all these settings I'm going to leave as intact. And I'm going to click on switch platform. All right, so it looks like we completed switching platforms. So we have iOS as the platform that we are going to be building to. So let's go ahead and close out. I'm going to go into File, Build Settings. And I guess I shouldn't have closed out. I could have gone to Player Settings. So let's click on that. Now I can close it out. And I'm going to expand this area here. So I'm going to change the company name here. I'm just going to say Delmar Games. This can be just that name. I don't think it, I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to change the version to 100. And Make sure that you look at the iOS tab because that's the one that we're going to be changing. Most of the settings in here, we don't really have to change. The only thing that I'm going to change here is the build number. It's going to be that number. I'm also going to be selecting AR kits. Let me go ahead and go down here. So it says require AR kit support. So we need that. And also it's going to tell you that the minimum, you know, the minimum iOS SDK is going to be 11. So I'm just going to, you know, select 11. And the new version of Unity, it's already populating the camera usage description that didn't happen before. And the other thing that we need to change is also the architecture. So it's going to be ARM64, otherwise going to complain. And that's everything that we need to change there. Then now let's go into the XR component. I'm going to, because we're doing ARKit, I'm going to you know, click on Create here. And it's going to save my ARKit settings. It's going to go ahead and hit Save. And this is something that I've been doing. I'm not 100% sure if this is required. It, the last time that I built, I actually did this and everything worked. So I just did it just, just in case. And there's really nothing in here other than that setting. And the other thing that I also, you need to also make sure is in the XR plugin management. If you didn't do what I showed you in the beginning and you go to this tab, you're going to see that the ARKit XR plugin is not installed. So you could have gone through this way and actually click on install. That would have worked as well. I think I am more used to the package manager, so I did it that way. And that's everything that we need to do there. I think that's so. The other things that I'm going to be covering in future videos is there's also a lot of settings in here that you can that you can change. I didn't have to change any of these settings, so I'm not going to worry about. But just just so you know that some of these settings for Mars are available there. And I think that's everything that we're going to need. Let's go ahead and go into File now and then Build Settings. And now that we have that scene selected, I'm going to hit Build. And I'm going to select the designated location. We're going to be putting the demo. So I'm just going to call it Game Simple Build. 
and then hit save. And this is going to create an Xcode project and then what we can do is we can build it and I'm going to show you how that looks as soon as I have it running on my iOS device. All right guys, so it looks like this is already built and we have our folder here. I also have my iPad, so I'm going to show you live how the experience worked. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the build, so Unity iPhone Xcode project. We're going to be also changing a couple settings so that we can actually build it. You can see that my iPad is connected via USB-C and I think everything here looks fine. Let's go ahead and sign in and capabilities and make sure that I select a team and everything there looks okay. Let's go ahead and click on build and that's going to compile the game that we just built and then push it to the device. I'm going to show you how that looks. So let me go ahead and bring in the device here so you guys can see how that works. And perhaps I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see the whole thing. All right, so it looks like this is now launching. So I'm going to go ahead and lift up my iPad and show you the results. So it's coming up in here. We can see the Unity logo. It's going to ask me if I want to give access to the camera, which we need. And you guys can see that it's already plain detection is working. We have our character there. And this device is using Leader, so it's really, really fast. And I'm just going to go ahead and scan everything. And you guys can see that I have my character there. It also has a couple of crystals. So I'm going to keep, you know, walking around and then perhaps mapping the area. And there we go. And okay, so let's see if this works. So I'm going to move my character. He knows that there's a table there. And let me see if I can jump. And it's jumping and it's grabbing the crystal, grabbing the crystal there, grabbing another crystal. And I can also let's see if I can jump back into here. And there we go. Everything is working fine. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. This is actually really powerful. I love Mars and I'm going to be bringing a lot more videos about it. Thank you guys. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video on Mars and actually pushing to a device. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. And also be sure to check out my patreon.com site where I'm basically posting early access source code. Also what I'm doing behind the scenes. And if you guys have additional questions, like I say, don't basically don't hesitate to email me because I'm always answering those questions. Thank you very much, guys.